Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to create in my art journal. I have beautiful images, beautiful items and papers that I absolutely want to use. I would love to use this particular um, journal because there are so many images to choose from. Frankly, I don't know what to choose, but I will choose my focal point out of one of these for sure. Um, I feel that art journaling is a great way to um, free yourself and really just create for yourself. It's also extremely positive in every way because you look at your work afterwards and realize how beautiful uh, your creation is and also you learn you really really learn new techniques or you practice on older techniques that you know um, but the more often you you do those of course the better you will get so a if you have an art journal or if you don't I really encourage you to start one and if you already do have an art journal I'm sure you know what I mean when I say that you can see your progress and every time you use your uh, art journal, you realize how you've progressed and discovered maybe your style and you've practiced some techniques and all of that work that you do for yourself actually helps you out later on when you're creating for others uh, because your look, your, your overall look of your work will, will be more professional and and the techniques used are a little bit better mastered. So I hope you join me uh, for this creative session. Uh, if not today, maybe another day. Maybe today you just want to watch and that's okay too. So how about we get right to it? Okay, well I am absolutely unsure of where I want to go with this. Absolutely unsure. I, I'm seeing this and I, I, first of all, I don't know which book I'm going to use. I'm hoping this is wide enough. It would. I'm not sure. I, oh, there are so many beautiful, beautiful images in this. Um, remember when I said to you, or maybe I didn't say it, um, in this intro, just because, you know, I record, I delete, I record until, <laughs> until I'm happy or somewhat happier. Um, but if you surround yourself with too many beautiful things, you will become overwhelmed. And right now, I haven't surrounded myself with a whole lot. But what I do have is really, oh my gosh. And they're big images. They're beautiful. So many possibilities. But this one kind of stuck to me. I don't know. There's this one. And this one, I just, where is it? It was with acorns. Uh, nope. This one. I'm not sure. So you know what? I will cut both. Of course, I will fast forward so you don't sit through me cutting. Because that's a lot of fussy cutting. So I will... Oh, and there's this one too. Oh my goodness, I need help. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's start by cutting images and then we'll decide. Okay, so I've cut it, and I don't know if you could feel this, or it's how, or if it's how you feel. But the more I was cutting it, the more beautiful I thought this piece was becoming. Now it's not super perfect. There's still some white, but it doesn't have to be perfect, I think. So I also have this, which came with um, an order I placed with her, and. I've always kept it because I said one day I will use this image and I think today is the day. So I will fussy cut that as well and I'll come back this time when it's done. Okay, so now I cut everything I think I will need. I am unsure. So I cut, I also cut this. And of course the first one you saw me cut and this which i think i will also cut in the middle i'm not sure i've gotten this not sure like like i said i don't know where i'm going with this and that's okay that is okay and that's that's what i'm hoping you will get from this session with me is that it doesn't matter if you know how everything is going to end up the important thing is just start 
so um i wasn't sure if i was going to use this journal or the bigger one i think this is a good size for the project i want to do today um i love this i love this thing and i really love this one too made with all washi tapes i had no idea where this was going to take me and that's what i done with it and i really really love it so i will prep this new page now i would like to just to lay flat i think i have to find something to put underneath maybe let me see oh this is beautiful too i don't really want to tear the front page but look at it it would fit exactly what i'm doing <gasps> and you know what the beauty is is i have another one because I bought two of these. I love, love, oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm gonna use the front of this. I use, um, oh, look at this. I use a lot of these pages in my journal. I think they're perfect. They have botanicals, which I'm in love with. They look vintage and they have lines for writing. So it's excellent to put in a journal. But today, since I have another one, like I said, I do use them a lot. So I bought two. This is perfect to make this page a little straighter to work on. I think I'm going to cut this and include it. So here's to more fussy cutting. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, I must. I have to. Yep. Let me grab some scissors. <laughs> this whole video will be fussy cutting. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. But when you see something that will go perfectly, why not? So there we go. Why not? Okay, so now that we've cut all our pieces, this is this is where you plan. So I feel that art journaling is like you tell a story on each page. And it really is when you think about it. When you, you're doing a composition, if you see it as you trying to tell a story, it might help you setting up. So as you remember, I cut this, right, just a few minutes ago. And I do want it to go on top. I think it's beautiful. I love the red. It draws the attention. I want something like that. I also want to use this. I'm thinking I will cut it right about here and put I put one I tried to say put an each so it became putch sorry <laughs> I can't speak I'm thinking of putting one on this side and the other on this side so how about I start doing that right now so I just got to figure out where I'm going to cut this I'm I know this is a tree but you know in the whole composition it won't matter so I will I will cut it like so I will do that just to keep someone of a movement I don't want to necessarily a super straight line just like these are not straight lines you know what I mean I don't want to just cut in the middle diagonally I want it to be like like so like what I'm doing right now so there's more movement in my pieces if you will there so I'm thinking this should go on this side and this will go on this side like this yes I like that I like this this I'm unsure I want to use it I'm not sure in what capacity but I do want to use it I definitely have envisioned this to be on top when I cut it out that was my idea so I don't know if you can see, but I'm telling a story of some sort. We're in the nature here. I also remember cut this piece from the garden journal. I thought this would look lovely. I don't know where to put it. I am unsure, but I want to put this somewhere. I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> So now, if I leave these this way, I like it like that. There's, you know, and also don't forget that there's no pressure. Um, I took my time fussy cutting and it was quite relaxing. Um, 
sometimes I find that, that it gets, you know, annoying for me. I know a lot of you love fussy cutting, but I actually enjoyed myself this time around. I'm wondering if I should also cut this somehow in half and put some here and some over there because it just I just realized that this green is pretty much the same as this and I feel it would balance everything out I also took some coffee stained paper because you know me I like to mix things and I was wondering if I could somehow integrate some maybe in the very very background so that it's not completely white once I cover everything I am unsure we are just having fun here we're just creating maybe I won't maybe maybe I will use some uh, watercolor paints to make this the background less white I'm I'm really not sure I'm just trying things here I even thought of putting it bits and pieces I don't know I will put this aside for now because I'm thinking I might just go with some sort of I don't know I'm creating something here I'm not sure where this is going but I think this will be cut in half as well maybe I will go something hmm yes okay let me ah. okay no I will go oh. okay I will let me think because if this goes on this side let's say and this branch right here it goes here I'm hiding a lot of it but it's still in the background okay 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 so I or I bring this higher because it comes from behind there and this is covered so there's no need to waste ah see okay I know I don't seem to make sense but <laughs> Let me use the trick that I've showed you before. When you want to cut a certain way these papers, of course you can take your scissors, absolutely. But if you want to cut around and you don't want necessarily crisp, perfect lines, the best way is to use, uh, this is really big though, oh well, uh, it's to use uh, brush pens or just a normal um, paintbrush dipped in water will do the trick. And what this does, it allows you to go around like this. Um, I have to make sure what I want to do. Okay, yes, I want to do this. Um, I do have to cut it at one point. Ah, oh, I should have went right here. Let me see if I can still do that. Yes. Okay, I think this should do it. Maybe you didn't see the bottom. I just realized I'm off camera here. I'm not in the frame. Okay. And now tearing the paper is as easy as holding on to the side and just following the watermark that you have just created. And it cuts around all the elements. You're a little far, aren't you? Ah, oh, see, I knew that. Hold on. Okay. And it allows you to go around the elements without a harsh... Um, straight scissor cut line now this has dried though I took my time I'm just going to re-wet it there see I don't even have to worry I, I'm just going very I'm just very gentle and it's staring on its own all you have to do is for this part to dry which is not you know doesn't take very long as you know and now you're you're ready to use this so okay perfect I am thinking I will put this like this and then I will glue this and maybe oh this this right there in the front oh this is becoming very beautiful and if i go oh, let me back up so you see the whole image and this is a little far i think this is good what do you think okay and i don't okay so again i'm wasting paper so um i will put this oh 
this is interesting now i'm realizing i have see by cutting a certain way i am actually saving some paper because i want to put some of the green over here but i'm realizing that this is taking a lot of space so i can use this maybe somewhere in the middle where two minutes ago i had nothing huh and i could still leave this maybe up to here oh yes oh this i like and now the corner here is white but i can always color it with watercolor greenish maybe to or beige or something like that and this right here uh, before i tear paper i just want to make sure if there's not i'm trying to save is what i'm trying to do right because i don't have a whole lot of this paper hmm okay 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 what if i move this and it's collage paper right so i can glue a little piece here a little piece there and it will all work out i'm thinking huh okay i really like this so let me put this back here and this here this is on top this is a little empty but we will find something or and this is the beauty we're just having fun there's no pressure oh this is not bad look at this this is not bad we are creating something here i'm actually liking it trying to see if all the colors balance or if it's better to put this back here and put this somewhere like that oh i like that though i really do and i could find hmm okay i like this i just need to figure out how much of this paper will go here and how much of it i will put in the middle right there um i also have some more of marta's paper I, that's the last sheet now this is brick i know technically it wouldn't fit but it's kind of a background i could just grab this part okay i don't know how you feel about all of this i hope you're kind of learning that this is fun you have to let yourself be free and just have fun just try things just try okay i'm thinking this is perfect for that but i really like that this goes there or 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 i'm just huh wait now if i put this here to cover this part I could tear this right here okay like where is my brush okay what did i just say i will tear this and use it in the middle yes and then i will cut it right here like so because at first i was going to use this part and have the corner be white because the other corner is white but i don't like that it i know it seems like it's balanced and once you start creating you'll realize that even things although technically are balanced for the eye and for art purposes they're not i find that it it, it just it's just not <laughs> okay now we're talking yes look at that and i could use these in the background somehow okay so let's start by okay this i will use 
probably somewhere here. So I will cut that piece. somewhere maybe right at the bottom and these cutouts need to be on top I feel just for dimension like so I don't need the harsh squarish if you will so I will just cut around this there perfect much better I don't think we see much of that but just just to make sure I don't think the harsh line work with this decoupage project is it decoupage <laughs> okay so I'm going to start gluing stuff down so that we can just keep moving on but see how much time I took thinking moving things getting my storyboard um, you know getting my story I, I'm creating a story and I, I I hope you can kind of see that so I will take these ones out because these are glued after these pieces I will start by the the easiest one which is this one you could use glue like this you can use matte medium whatever you have I just so have oof. be very careful because this paper tears easily and this is blue but it will become clear when it dries And I will put some sort of medium, probably gesso on top uh, afterwards, just so I can add colors or if I'm playing with watercolors so that the paper can actually sustain that kind of treatment. So I will move this. I just want to remember with this, actually, it's easy. Um, wait, now, it's not that easy. I want to make sure that I cover what I want to cover. So I will move this. And I remember that this is here. And so right about here, or do I care that there's there's white? Yeah. In this case, I do. So it's really, okay, pretty easy. I will just glue right there and keep putting glue on this. Oops. Actually not very straight I'm just going to oops very gentle this kind of paper tears but I'm hoping that as you're watching me think and place things and move things around and that um, you keep the idea of a story so you're telling a story and if you tell a story you will have some sort of a goal remember at the beginning I said a lot of you don't aren't sure what to use for a focal point and how do you go about it that's how you can go about it you have an image in in this case it was this red flower on a branch that's what started the whole thing for me and you go from there and you tell your story and as you can see it did take me 14 minutes if I'm looking at this red at this recording properly but it's worth it. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not going anywhere. I can take my sweet time. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm creating a story. Oh, yes. Look, that is really nice. Okay. And I'm also hoping that you see that in this instance, I had these papers. But I cut out the top of a journal. I cut out beautiful images in another journal. Um, I could have chosen images from a magazine. Uh, and don't worry about the shine. If you don't like the shine, if you could apply um, matte medium, it will take the shine off once everything is in place. So don't limit yourself because you don't think you have all the right supplies. You don't need to have what I have. Okay? Just use what you have. And I don't know if you've noticed as well, I have, for those of you who know me and know my channel, 
I have a lot of products because <laughs> I'm a YouTube creator, so of course I'm going to have a lot of products, but I didn't take them out. I did not take them out because, again, it is very easy to get overwhelmed if you have too many things out. So do yourself a service and don't. Don't take everything out, okay? Here, that's going to be beautiful right there. And now I just want to figure out if I'm going to glue any of these anywhere before I glue this flower right here. I'm thinking he would look... Yes. You know what? Yes, yes. like that and then maybe one right here and one right there yes why not so I will glue them down before I continue yeah that looks good I will take some of let me see like this like that right here that looks pretty good or maybe on top right there mm, or the small one here mm, no I think this was okay like that we'll see and I have a piece of paper here maybe I could glue some on top there or maybe actually I could cover the, this corner after all oh look at that look at that Perfect. Why not? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like it belongs. Why not? This is the beauty of, like I said, collage paper, right? You can just... I need to buy more from her. Because these are my last sheets. And look at me go. I'm using them for myself. <laughs> like I said, use your supplies. You're allowed to make yourself happy there i like it so if the branch goes here somewhere this one should go mm -hmm. yeah right there i'm going to put this one there i had no idea where i was going and as you've seen we have done this together by me just trying things this is actually a lot of fun <laughs> it's uh i'm having a lot of fun here i love it yes yes okay oops that was already opened just want to see where i put these two and do i even want to put them here because i have other butterflies <laughs> Uh, like such those are rub-ons and I want to see if because I feel like there's red here and there I I'm not sure maybe I'll uh, let me think okay so I I had to pause I'm back I found this beautiful little bird I'm thinking it's from some of my paper that I put in the Cricut. I am not sure anymore. <laughs> um, I think he would, he might look good right here with his little friends right there. I'm unsure. I also found another image from that same book. I thought this would be nice somewhere here. I'm not sure. Also, this, because it's red. As you can see, I'm looking for some red. I also found oops, these butterflies. I think they would look nice. I'm unsure. So this is where we are. So I'm going to keep gluing. And we'll see where this takes us. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you just grab some of the 
beautiful supplies you have or magazines books I mean there's all kinds and you can do pretty much exactly what I've just done today and it's cut fussy cut have fun and then just compose oh yes look at that oh he's got his little hair here I'm gonna there <laughs> Oh, isn't he beautiful just like that? It is. It's really nice. Okay. And then we will glue this. The reason I'm not too worried is because the image is going right there. So, as you can see, I'm applying the glue on top of the journal but where I know I'm putting this image so there's not glue everywhere although it would dry clear I'm just you know I'm not gonna do it on purpose to put glue everywhere either there okay now I will glue this branch I have to be careful because it's only paper <clears throat> I also could have used liquid glue. Why don't I do that instead of risking to rip it? it took me long enough to uh, to fussy cut it. Um, there, that will be a lot better, a lot more delicate, and less risk of ripping pieces of this apart. I love that book also that this journal I cut out the images because as you can see the back is nothing so a lot of times I find in these books that I'm sad because I have to cut something and the other side is just as magnificent and then I'm losing an image so I'm happy that they thought of that so it's not cruel of us to think well what am I going to sacrifice <laughs> I don't like losing a beautiful image just because I am gluing it down. So I'm happy they thought of that. Sorry for the... Okay. The close-up of my hand is what I was going to say. <laughs> there. I'm just going to make sure it's in the crease here because this book, of course, will be closing and opening. So it's okay that there's... A crease in it I just want to make sure that it's actually in the crease so it allows for folding without you know ripping the image every time it does so like this I'm going to just going to make sure there yes I'm going to also, I see here, I missed, there's no glue. I wouldn't want it to rip, you know. I will actually just put some gesso on top, but. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, next. How about we apply our greenery? Greenery? Greeneries. Now, I had first said that this could go here and this could go there. But I could also change my mind like this. Hmm. I feel there's too much light. Oops. I'm not sure. Just want you to be able to see properly. See the colors. It, it was too bright there, but I have a lot of light in my studio. Oh, I'm trying to if but if I move it, oh I'm just going to leave it. Sometimes I'll do this so you can see the whole colors. Okay. Um, hmm. I like this there, but I don't know. I like that he's taller. I think this is... I don't know anymore. Ah! Oh, let me... Let me see. What if I shorten them like this? Ah! Oh, that's also a possibility. And I could still put the mushrooms down here. And hmm, do I add this bird? 
right here oh I like it let me see on camera if you see what I see with all the colors look at that yes why not I think this is what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut the excess afterwards that's all I didn't want the flowers to be as tall as the bird because then we lose him and I love him I kept this page very long because I knew I would use it one day so I don't want to uh, lose sight of this beautiful bird okay I hope I really do hope that by watching this you are realizing that you can do that you can do this easily and it's very freeing it's a lot of fun it's it's like child like a like you know going back to being a child and and cutting images and catalogs and and gluing them together you know it's fun and you know some of these collages you could easily after that um, if you have a color copier you could scan and copy them and then use the page in a journal if you want because you've composed this with a bunch of images from a little bit everywhere and just use it in one of your journal as a you know a journal page there I will cut the where are my scissors okay I will just cut the excess right here there we go oh, maybe a tiny bit more there I can fix it later anyways okay I will glue this I really did not think that's where the project was going today um, if you've seen any of my other art journaling videos I I use all kinds of medium right now all it seems I'm doing is fussy cutting and composing and gluing I did not expect to do that today <laughs> oh well I guess that's part of the fun you're not sure where this is going to take you there oh he would look good maybe yes I like it it's a busy but a good busy um, because it's all nature everything I hope <laughs> fits together I'm trying to balance the colors and the composition which is why I wanted more mushrooms if they could have been a flower now let me see as I'm speaking with you I'm unsure about them about I don't like the evenness but I do like the triangle it creates that's how I feel I'm getting balance out of this and I don't know if maybe I should just put something like that in the corner and put them right here huh let me see I'm not sure can you imagine all this because of simple little mushrooms I do like the triangle thing so I think if this wasn't there maybe I wouldn't like it but I'm okay with it for today so I will glue this right there I also had these I really liked I'm wondering if huh, <laughs> it could be like an addition to the or no I don't know this I like here it is very shiny though I would have to hope I don't know if the matte medium will stick on plastic things like that because I really like the idea of some red here oh I wonder if I have a, a sticker or 
maybe a rub on leaf that's kind of red let me see because I think it needs a tiny bit of reddish or orangey let me see what I have because I have all these leaves but they're not really orange uh, mm. no they're not really orange ah or red and I really feel um I got rid of a oh now this is matte and this is red there we go I threw a lot of stuff away actually let me rephrase I didn't throw them away I put them aside because I am cleaning up my studio oh there's also these leaves that also come from one of my kit I, I would have to cut the white out Huh. No, I think these are better. Um, yeah, so I've cleaned up a lot of my stuff in my studio. And my intention is whenever somebody purchases things, I already give a lot of goodies. But maybe I'll make some care packages like surprises and just send them to random, you know, people. Or, like I said, as an addition, whenever you purchase a journal, and not necessarily as things that you would use in the journal, I think this goes this way, um, but just things to have in your stash. Because I have a lot, and some came in packages, like let's say I purchased something I really, really love, and in that package are things that are not my color palette, well, maybe they're your color palette. So instead of me hoarding them and not knowing what to do with them, why not give them? I already purchased and used whatever it is that I purchased. So it's not like I'm going to suffer from this, you know? Okay, so here we are. I am liking this just like that so far. But of course, it's not going to end there. <laughs> I am still wondering about this and this. Let me see. I like it. Or take his friends and use them instead. Hmm. I don't know. Like this, maybe? I want to leave some space. I'm probably going to put like a sentence or something. And I don't want to make it too busy. I'm almost unsure about him now. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let me let me cut around these. It's too much paper around it. Okay, so what if I put him here and the other one? I know I'm off frame here. I'm just cutting. And like a little more discreet, maybe like so then I don't lose necessarily the white. Yes, I'm going to do just that. Okay, I'm going to take this glue. Or do I put him here? No, he's okay there. He likes it. <laughs> okay. I am... Now, keep in mind that while I'm talking to you, this video might come out after the other one I'm just going to talk about now. But I'm thinking, as I'm creating this today with you, of doing a live video. The only thing I'm unsure is I don't have a mediator. And I don't know if I absolutely need one. I don't have to tell you that, you know, sometimes some people 
like to comment strange things if I want to stay polite. So the mediator mediator is there to like delete the comment right away. Um, you know, so things don't get out of hand. And uh, see, that's a leaf I had that fell off. I, you know what? I don't even know where it was. I saw it fall, but I didn't pay attention to where it was. I think this would look great there, so I'm going to put it put it there. So yes. Um, now as I'm doing this video. Because I, I do videos and then I don't necessarily put them online right away or sometimes it takes a few weeks and then something else I do after goes on first. So maybe by the time you see this video, the live would have will have happened <laughs> and hopefully it went well. <laughs> um, I just got to figure I'm very nervous. I'm not going to lie. I haven't I've never done one. And I'm very nervous about it. And that's why I haven't done one yet. Because I would have to have my computer on one side of my desk to read the comments so I can at least reply to you, you know, speaking, of course, not typing, because I'd be busy crafting. And I'm I'm worried I wouldn't be able to keep up. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I would chit-chat about. No, the usual worries. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to do what I really love to do, which is usually darken the outside frame so that everything becomes more focused and the white parts show up even more. Sometimes I also uh, put gesso in between. Well, that's not a good example, but in my other journal, I'll put some gesso around the edges to camouflage some of the breaking the, the decoupage or the harsh line but in this case I really don't find that there's anything to oops glue didn't come out that there's anything really to camouflage because there's not really any harsh lines everything is fussy cut decoupage and there's I don't know if you understand what I mean but I think I'm going to leave it this way maybe I'll put some white around this because I do regret not cutting the paper around it but I don't know I don't know for now I will first start by applying um, Mac medium so that everything holds in place I think that's a good idea I hope so so let's do that
I find that darkening the corners adds like a dramatic effect, if you will. And oops, <laughs> coloring my hand. <laughs> also very dramatic. <laughs> okay. I really do find that it adds almost like a frame. Really is what it is. It's just I find that it frames everything nicely. You don't have to do it. It was nice the way it was, but I I think it's something I always do on every piece of um journaling art journaling page I do. So it kind of became my thing that I always do as a almost finishing touch. I'm not quite done. I also found words that I wanted to add. I always like to have like a word or a sentence, something inspirational. So I found something and I found a way to do it, to put it in this page, on this page, I should say. So all I'm doing right now is darkening um, the corners but also really watering it down when it comes, you know, so it has a nice transition from super dark to a lot lighter. And these are really good for that because they're water soluble. So it gives you time to play around with them. I've, uh, I've used them a lot. Uh, you've seen me use them to create um, this vintage looking paper with gold. And oh my goodness, it's such a successful video. You all really, really appreciated it. I have to do it again soon. Okay. Like this. And because I've protected my page with, well, like I said, I made a mistake at the beginning using the uh, matte medium, but it's not a super mistake. I mean, it still sealed some, you know, the page, um, but clear gesso, I think, is, is better for that. And, uh, yeah, usually the medium is used mostly with acrylics to mm, stretch your paint, if you will. It makes it more, I don't know how to, what the word would be other than stretch it. Not like you're trying to save the paint, it's just, uh, I really don't have the word. <laughs> I don't know how to express it. I'm sorry about that. I guess stretch will be the word. There. A little darker here. I feel like it frames everything and it makes you even like focus more on the story being told by the uh, art journaling you don't see that i'm trying to be everywhere <laughs> but when i re-wet what i've applied i can kind of also hold on, let me grab a piece of paper if you find you've put too much or it's too dark nothing prevents you from doing just this i want it to be subtle in the background here I don't want to take away from everything like this is maybe too harsh of a line so I'm going over with the water I'm spreading it and if I don't like it perfectly I just dab a tiny bit see now it's a lot more subtle I want the corner just to be dark um, but I don't want to lose all the beautiful paper that I took such great care of putting right so that's why I'm going this way and like I said, because it's water uh, soluble, as you can see, I've reactivated this, which was a pretty harsh line compared to what I'm trying to attain. So you can reactivate it with your water. And again, nothing prevents you from taking a paper and just dabbing whatever you feel is darker than what you intended. I think this is really satisfaction like it this is yeah i think this is what i had envisioned i'm just going to dab a tiny bit here yes mm, no there's something bothering me here it's just every time i go again with the brush it seems or i take too much out or it's too harsh and i really want it to be 
like the other side. And now, now I have these water bubbles. There. Okay, now I'm going to really delicately, barely go in there so I don't undo what I just did. Okay, now I'm now I like it. Okay. Now the last step for me, I think today, even usually I use I will use um black thread that I like to glue all around. I don't know if I put it in here somewhere. Oh no, this time I put pieces of fabric with sewing. Um in other journals I've glued some thread everywhere zigzaggy but I really I don't know I feel this is good today I feel this is good so I found uh, words I have these um, Tim Holtz ideology of all kinds and I use these words today um, and I glued them on fabric I inked the edges and glued them on fabric and now I'm going to glue them here. I love to have these little quotes, little sentences. I think this looks good there. And to me, for me anyways, it has to do, I like to do something or put messages that have to do with the feeling of what I'm doing today. So for me today, this was being myself. So I just grabbed things that I thought was beautiful. I didn't put any pressure on myself. You were with me the whole process, so you know I had no idea where I was going. I was just trying to be myself and be creative and go with the flow. And in with that being said, I was trying to feel free, which is what I was explaining to you. Feel free. Be free to create for yourself. You have no pressure. Um, this is for you. You know? So feel free to create something that you will like. Nobody has to give you approval. You're not selling it. You're just doing it for you in your art journal. Oops. Stay there, you. There you go. Um, this doesn't have enough glue, so let me just put some here. Okay, and the last one is appreciate beauty. And I think I am appreciating beauty right now. Just want to make sure where I want this. Mm, does it make a big difference? No, I don't know. I am very surprised that I haven't used a whole lot of other uh, um, items, but I guess today it was enough, you know? Usually I'll doodle something, I might still doodle later, I might go around the flowers and make squiggly lines everywhere, why not? Why not? I think it would look actually very beautiful if I did. I usually will use, oh where are they? Oh goodness, of course, because I want to show you, I have no idea where I put them, but these will work as well, not too thick, makes nice doodles everywhere, but I have those other ones that I can't find right now, but just a black, um, oh wait, I think I have one here, yes, these I really like for doodling, and usually I'll just go around the shapes, very loosely i'll show you on a piece of paper because i don't want to do it right now and ruin something but let's say um yeah I, I would like go like really loosely let's say go around this bird nothing serious just for fun i might go heavier on one side to create some sort of shadow maybe i'll go heavy everywhere and maybe I'll just go squiggly lines everywhere across the page or just stick to around items to, you know, make them more obvious. And usually it's really positive, the effects that it does. So I might do that later. For now, I think I will leave it this way so that I can end the video because we're pretty much an hour in. But I do hope that you have realize how easy it is if you let yourself be free choose images and 
today we didn't use a whole lot. I had, I decoupaged papers. I, I just, you know, cut, fussy cutted images, I'm trying to say here. These are all fussy cutted image. I did have beautiful um, collage paper, but you don't need it because it, it, that's not the main focus here. But you could also take coffee stain paper. You could just have stamped backgrounds first and then added your pieces uh, of um, fussy cut images. There's really not much to it. Some good glue. Um, I mean, I only use the regular you know glue stick and regular liquid glue I had a stabulo but any kind of watercolor would do as well and that was pretty much it and then I just chose sentences you could also handwrite them if you have nice penmanship um, you could you cut a, a sentence in a magazine or in a book that you really love an old book there's all kinds of way but I just want you to see how it takes very little elements I've let myself be creative. I created something beautiful out of other images all put together and it was a lot of fun. And this is just for me. This will stay in my art journal and I will look back on this a few months from now when especially when this is all full. <laughs> this will become a treasure book, literally a treasure book. And we tend to remember when we made certain things. You can also stamp the date if you want. You could stamp the date discreetly somewhere or write it somewhere. It's, a, it's as you wish. I don't put the date. I don't mind. Um, but you could. So there it is, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed this creative process with me. I really, really hope it gave you ideas to create your own, that you're going to grab those scissors, grab magazines, books, old books, all kinds of things that you have, cut out images, and just let yourself have fun. On this, I will say as usual that I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe. And I say thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>